Hello, my name is Steve Adolf, and welcome to our topic, User Story Basics. In this first part, we're going to ask the questions, what are user stories, and why should we care? We're going to start with the second part. Why should we care about user stories? And to answer that, I'd like you to remember our post-mortem story that we gave you in the pre-work. Here we have the situation where our CIO is coming to congratulate our team during the post-mortem. And she tells him that, well, we delivered the project on time and on budget. This is a serious project manager's dream here. And yet, the team seems very unenthusiastic. And it turns out that while the project was a project management success, people aren't finding the result very valuable. And of course, the team isn't really happy about that because who likes to work and discover what they worked so hard on is not valuable. And this is not a rare occurrence. In fact, if you take the data produced by the Standish Group, it would suggest that only some 15% of the features and systems that we create are actually found valuable and useful by our stakeholders and users. That's that green. On the other hand, some 65% of features and systems are either low value or useless from the point of view of our stakeholders and users. Now this is actually a little bit of a depressing image because think about the implications of this. Think about all the late nights you spent working on your systems. Think about all the weekends you gave up where you didn't see your kid's soccer game or you were unable to take your kid to ballet so that you could make that push to get the system out. Only now to discover that, yeah, no one found it particularly valuable. So this is the economics of Agile, is trying to help us create more of that valuable green and less of that wasteful red. We want to be able to do that by learning from the user as we develop the system what is really valuable to them. One of the tools we have available to us in Agile to do this is the user story. And a user story is just another backlog item. And if you were to ask five Agilists what a user story is, you're likely to get about 10 different answers, simply because there's a lot of localized definitions of user stories, and there's also a lot of proprietary definitions of user stories. I'm going to try and take the definition of a user story from the Agile Alliance and simply say that a user story captures something valuable in a couple of sentences. That's it. It's just a couple of sentences expressing something valuable to the stakeholder. The origins of the user story go back to a methodology called extreme programming, where a customer representative worked very, very closely with the team. And as part of understanding what the team was to deliver, they would sit down with that customer representative and write these user stories out on cards. and the customer representative would explain to them what was truly valuable. This is one way of helping us discover more of what is valuable to the stakeholder and try to create more of that green and less of that wasteful red, capturing from directly from the stakeholders what's valuable to them, expressing requirements as a value statement. Now, the intent behind the way the user story works is that it is something that the stakeholder or user can actually use. We're going to actually deliver something to them that can work. And this diagram here shows you sort of the classic layered cake model of a system. In this simple example, we have a graphical user interface layered on top of some business logic, layered on top of some database. And the goal of the user story is to give this very thin slice of behavior, valuable slice, that the user can actually operate. It may be a limited functionality, but it helps us learn 
what is really valuable to that stakeholder. So it helps us by creating these user stories to discover more of what's in that green and avoid less valuable features that would live in that red. Compare this strategy to the typical way that we would develop a system. Here again is our layered cake model and we would have requirements such as the system shall create a frequent flyer number in the member table. So we would update that we would create that capability within the database layer. We are our business logic is able to generate new frequent flyer numbers and finally at the GUI level we're able to present that. But the problem here is until all these pieces are put together we don't have anything that we can really show to the stakeholder. And this is really where Agile and the use of user stories comes in. We're trying to develop our systems in these thin slices which we can deliver quickly and to get feedback quickly. The challenge with this approach is that we're building the system and components and until all the components are put together they will not operate and we will not have something that we can demonstrate to this the stakeholder or the user that's truly valuable to them. So what we're really trying to do with the user stories is accelerate the feedback that we're getting by avoiding these so-called CRUD user CRUD stories, the create, read, the update, and delete stories if you like.